Hey guys, so yesterday I actually wasn't able to film too much um, just because we were running around everywhere uh, but luckily the weather was really nice so <laughs> even though the tasks were super super boring um, anyway, so today we are actually starting a sale for the Mother's Day weekend um, but I am super unprepared for it I've had this shop for two years now but it's still a struggle to get everything done before the sale such as um I, well i've already had the code set up and everything in advance but i haven't set up the newsletter yet and i also haven't done the banners for the website and etsy and um, this morning i just did the instagram post announcing the sale so that's done um, but i have to just slowly um just go down the list and check things off but yeah hopefully um in another few months i'll get better at it but it's just really tough to get everything just because there are so many different platforms where you have to announce the sale and it's just very hard to keep track of Hey guys, so today is actually Saturday and I'm going to be working from home. My husband was so nice and then he took uh, my son Sterling out uh, to hang out with some friends so that I can have some alone time at home so I can get more work done. I was really excited because it was my first time. It's my first time in almost a year uh, having some alone time, alone day. Um, so it's going to be really nice and I was a little bit over ambitious yesterday when I was making my to-do list for today um, So I actually have a lot of work to do still uh, First of all, I need to finish my like I made my to-do list in my Hoboni um, Jibun Techo Mini Biz Mini and uh, let me look over it so I can kind of share my to-do list today So I have to finish my June design which is launching next Friday uh, I need to finish it today for sure because tomorrow we're going to go into office and then print off the samples and then just test it out to make sure that all the colors are correct and um, we can like lay things out to see how many items there are and this round because we have different uh, materials the washi material and the clear matte material um, for that transparent matte um, sticker I need to kind of just group them so that it's easy to separate and then so that's already a lot another thing I need to do is working on the August designs because uh, for the subscription kits at least um, and if it was just that it's still okay I guess um, I'm a little bit feeling uneasy because every time I start a new collection design it just takes forever to kind of get into it um, I mentioned before in one of my vlogs that every time I start a new collection I feel like I forgot how to draw and it's almost like relearning how to draw I don't know why um, it's probably just like nerves um, but anyway so I'm going to to be doing that as well as designing some new washi's because it's been a while since we designed uh we released new washi tapes and i try to do that more often it's just that time really escapes for me because we just have so many releases like we have subscription kit and then we have the new launch we have sus subscription kit and then it's the new launch so there's like really no time to like put in that time for the extra uh the washi tapes and then I also wanted to do a refresh of some of the older collections. 
Um, I don't know which one I'm going to choose yet. So I need to go back and then look at which one of the really popular ones I want to do. Um, and I'm probably going to want to send it off with the August design. So I need to get that done ASAP as well. Because I'm thinking for the shop anniversary, which is June 30th, but that's also my birthday. Um, I want to do a new release of the older collection for you guys. So I need to work on that. So that's a lot. Um, it doesn't sound like much maybe, but it's a lot of designing and creating. And if you've ever, I don't know, maybe it's just my experience, but when you're creating, it's like you can't really set a time for how long it's going to take for each item. Like it's either the idea is going to come or it isn't. It can take five hours, it can take two minutes, I don't know. Um, but I did write down all, all of that on my planner so that hopefully I can just kind of check off at least half of them by the end of the day, hopefully. But I definitely have to finish the June design, uh, which is almost done. So hopefully that won't take too long. All right, so it's lunchtime and I just took out one of the, one of our Cook Unity meal boxes. Um, we order from Cook Unity every week and it actually ends up being much cheaper than us buying grocery and cooking ourselves. And this way we can get a variety of different types of food every day and um, it ends up being enough food for our family and a lot of times my mommy's with us too and it's definitely enough food so let me sh quickly show you what this looks like um so i picked from our fridge butter chicken i love indian food so this is what i'm going to be making for lunch to heat it up you just have to take out the plastic film and I'm going to take out the content from this plastic container into the larger bowl. And this portion, you can just throw it into the oven and it's also recyclable. And um, if you look at the cover, it has the instructions. So I'm going to follow that. And here is my naan from Costco. It's called Stonefire Mini Naan Original. There are 18 uh, pieces in each package. And we just freeze it and you only need to put it in the oven for two minutes. So I'm going to probably add it in at the end. Hey guys, so today is Sunday and we just got into the office. There's a lot of work to do. Um, so first of all, I'm going to print out all the packing slips and the shipping labels for the orders that came in this weekend for the sale, just so we can get a head start on that. And then I need to do some test printing for the Fu June collection that's launching next Friday. And if all the colors and everything looks good, then we're going to print them out and cut them and uh, start pre preparing for the photo shoot tomorrow. Uh, we still need to do some setup for that. So it's going to take up a lot of time today. And I still need to design the August collection, which I haven't touched yet. So I definitely need to jump on that this afternoon. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a lot of work to do and I'll get going.
Hey guys! So today is Monday and this is going to be a very busy week because this Friday we'll be launching the full June collection and we also need to finish uh, packing up the weekend sale. Um, so definitely a lot to do. Today we are going to start the photo shoot um, and I have just printed off the last batch of stickers uh, to go over the colors and the tags just to make sure that everything looks correct before we start setting up for the photo shoot. So the lighting here is really really yellow. Um, hopefully I can adjust it to make it look more realistic later. Uh, but I have laid out all of the stickers for the full collection um, here. As you can see, uh, we have added a whole other um, set of the monochrome design. So for each of the colored version, we have a monochrome one, uh, which seems to be pretty popular. And I also like it because you can kind of mix and match and it won't be so um, full on crazy and matchy matchy on your spread. Uh, my favorite from this round is uh, this stamp sticker. I think it's just gorgeous. I've done a stamp sticker before too uh, for last year's September collection, but I thought this collection would be perfect as a stamp uh, sticker. So this sticker, uh, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's cut out to have that edging of a stamp. So here, I'm trying to do it with one hand like that so you can kind of see that it has that edge so it's going to be so gorgeous um, I'm going to just test out some of these stickers on my planner just to make sure that it looks good and it shows up and it's not too washed out I don't think it will be a problem but I just want to I just like to test it out before we start listing them We have finally finished packing all of the weekend sale orders. Um, there are still just a couple packages left that have some missing items that we need to fill, but otherwise everything is done. Uh, it's definitely a huge to-do list item, so we are very, we are very happy. Um, today I am going to be creating the listings for tomorrow's uh, June full collection launch. So I need to really just put my earphones on and focus and make sure that everything looks correct. And we have to do it twice because we have to put it on Shopify and Etsy. So I just need to be double, pay double attention to everything. And then um, I really need to get started on the August collection. So I will definitely be doing that today. And um, I have already finished editing the second vlog. So that will be going up tomorrow, I think. And I just need to make a thumbnail. So that's what's on my to-do list. But here, I wanted to show you guys my <laughs> the thing I just received yesterday. So this is from VDS Vendor Spec and it's a custom B6 codex. Um, I think, I didn't um, change anything. I'm. I don't think I changed anything at all, uh, except for I did add the back pocket. So in here, I did add the back pocket, and then I made the left side a secretar secretarial pocket because I really like that. I did that for uh, my personal binder. 
I did that for my personal binder and I really liked it so I decided to do that again here and that's my front pocket um whoops <laughs> front pocket arrangement right here and I just have my B6 FCC uh, Franklin Covey planner in here um, that I've been using a lot it's so nice I love it and uh, I have my trusty Mont Blanc pen here this is a rollerball that I got secondhand um, at a really really good deal so I just put a new refill and it's been working really well and it fits really well inside here it's really slim I just love the look of this pen so um, yeah so that's my new vendor spec I also got a undyed but I'm just not really feeling it right now and this one is going to be perfect to be throwing around in my bag because it's black and it's going to be very durable so oh I did get the gold popper which I always forget but this time I didn't so I got the gold popper that's my new planner